You were ill. I called your apartment several times, but no one answered. I've been busy. But it, it's so unlike you not to phone me or drop me a line. You, uh, you aren't in trouble, are you? No. Well, let's, uh, let's go sit down and you can tell me what you've been doing. I dropped in just for a minute, Mary. That doesn't mean you can't sit down a minute. I don't have the time. Blackie, what's the matter? I haven't seen you for the last two weeks, Mary, because I haven't wanted to see you. Blackie. I thought you'd take the hint, and I wouldn't have to do this. Oh. But you saw Shorty yesterday and asked for me, and so I thought I'd better end this once and for all. But why? What have I done? I... I... Nothing. I, well, I suppose you're a great girl, Mary. For somebody else, so long. Blackie. Blackie, what is this? It's this. Open the window, Mary. What do you get? Why, I... I get air. That's just what I'm giving you, kid. And you don't have to bother about any window. And now meet Richard Calmer's Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy. Friend to those who have no friends. <laughs> Blackie, I... Oh, oh, hello, Shorty. Oh, hi, Miss Wesley. Uh, Blackie ain't home. Oh, well, uh, may I come in? Oh, sure, sure, Miss Wesley. Thank you. Gee, Miss Wesley, you sure are one beautiful thing. Am I? Uh-huh. What's the matter? You down about something? Shorty, maybe you can help me. Oh, Miss Wesley, for you, I jump off the Brooklyn Bridge in my Sunday suit. Oh, well, thanks, Shorty, but I don't want you to do anything like that. I just want you to tell me something. Well, if I know what to tell, I sure will. What's the matter with Blackie? Oh, well, that. Then you do know about it? Well, not not exactly, Miss Wesley. You see, I don't ask Blackie no questions about nothing. But you do know that he's broken off with me. Well, sure. You see, Blackie's a funny guy. He treats all the dames the same as he treats you. Nice and friendly like one minute, and then like a... You're like an old pair of shoes the next. Oh, Shorty, that... That's just not true. No? Huh. Don't bet. Look, I know how he treats his things. Blackie just gave you the same air he gives them all, Miss Wesley. I see. Well, that's it then, huh? Well, I I sure wish it wasn't. Thanks, Shorty, thanks. You, uh, you needn't tell Blackie I was here. I... No. No, please do tell him. If there is anything behind all this that I ought to know, maybe he'll tell you. Oh, certainly I'll tell him. No, better still, Shorty. I'll write him a note. Maybe that's the way. I'll use the telephone pad. Is that all right? Sure. Oh, wait a minute. What's this address on the pad? 11 Bailey Street. Oh, that, that's some place that Blackie wrote down to go to this afternoon. That's a strange part of town for Blackie, Bailey Street. Well, he said he was going out on business. Look, Miss Wesley, uh, I don't know what this is all about, only I, I kind of hope you ain't sore at him. Don't, don't mind him, huh, Miss Wesley? He needs somebody to mind him, Shorty. And right now, I'm going to mind his business. Hey, Leeds, will you quit shuffling those cards so much? You're giving the king of spades a shave. Let's play. When I'm ready, I'm thinking. What about? What you ought to be thinking about, too, Bernie. We're asking our way into that vault downstairs. Cut. Well, we got to think about Blackie first. Here's your cut deal. I'm thinking about Blackie. Look, Leeds, if he stands in the way of our little job, why don't we just knock him off? Why don't we just go out and commit suicide? Same thing. It'll be much quicker. Much quicker. Well, we got to stop him somehow. He knows what we're up to. Let's just be glad Blackie isn't chums with the cops and we'd have more to worry about. You want that card? Uh, no. 
Gee, if he only had a thing, he was sweet. And we could grab her and Blackie'd hop on his head if we said the word. That's very smart, Bernie. Only Blackie doesn't have any girl. I uh, took that car and check it down. Yeah, okay. He had a dame. But he doesn't have one. Get that through your noggin. I knock with eight points. Eight. Hey, you're lucky enough to do this for a living. Yeah, you get 27. <laughs> you do. Yeah. Hey, what's that? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Come in. Hello, boys. Well, Boston Blackie. I felt like slumming a little, so I thought I'd drop in and see how you boys are getting along. Mighty white of you. Let me lay one on this guy, Leach. Sit down. Ah. What's the matter, Bernie? Impatient to get at that bank vault downstairs? Yeah. <laughs> What's stopping you? Nothing. And we got you out of the way. And just how are you going to get me out of the way? We'll figure something. Nothing that I can't figure first. Make one more move to crack open that vault and I'll crack down on you. Okay, okay. We know you're smart. How about cutting you in, Blackie? No, thanks. Hmm, I see you have the floorboards removed. Are you sure you're directly over the vault? We didn't move into this rat trap in an apartment because we like Bailey Street. Uh-huh. Cold water flat with plenty of cold cash on the floor below. Well, I hope you don't die of old age before you get what you moved in for. Hey, Leach, I'm going in the kitchen. This guy gets me down. Go ahead. Well, Leach, you give up? No. You might as well. Why don't you go home and be a nice boy? I don't pretend to be a nice boy. You know you don't dare break into that vault downstairs as long as I'm around? Look, we got it all planned. Right there in that hole in the floor is where we're going down into the bank. We come through right on top of the vault. A little well-placed nitro. Bingo, we're in. You're in, too, if you say so. Not a very subtle way to open a vault. Vaults don't care if we're up here. <laughs> Leech, you're an amateur. You don't have any more <coughs> I... Hope that poke in the head killed him. Bernie, what'd you do that for? I just couldn't help it. I don't like anybody calling us names. Knocking them out doesn't help us any... I'm sorry, Leech. I just had a conk. Oh. Anyway, he's coming, too. Wait. Mm. Hey, wait, I got an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Tie him up quick. What? Tie him up. Get that rope there. Yeah, sure. That's sure. Don't look so happy, Bernie. I'm not going to let you kill him. Uh, what are we tying him up for, then? I don't know why we didn't think of this before. Uh. The best place for Blackie while we knock off this bank is in jail. Je How are we going to get him in jail? Tie him up good and tight. I got him so tight if you pluck him, I'll twang. How's that going to get him in jail? We're going to plan him when the cops can grab him. Go out and tell Joe to bring the car around back. Oh. Uh. Hello. Boys, or am I supposed to say, where am I? Try to get out of those ropes, Blackie, and you'll cut yourself in half. Yeah, thanks for the warning, but maybe I'll like being twins. Go tell Joe to bring the car around back. Yeah, sure, Leach. What's this going to be, a little joyride? No, Blackie, we're going to a little candy store to buy a lollipop for an all-day sucker. And I do mean you. <laughs> Turn left at the next traffic light. The candy store is down the Jefferson Pike about a mile. Lovely day for an automobile ride, isn't it? Shut up, Blackie. Hey, Leach, what are we going to do at the candy store when we get there? This uh, guy who owns the candy store is a belligerent gent. He doesn't take things lying down. You and I are going into a store. Stick him up. You're going to let him swing on you. You fall like he's knocked you out. Yeah. Then I'm going to let him have it with a blackjack. What about Blackie here? As soon as I've knocked out the man in the candy store, I'm calling the cops. You're going out to the car, slap Blackie with your blackjack, untie him, drag him into the store, knocked out. Then we're going to beat it. Oh, hey, Leach, you're great. I get it. When the cops get there, they'll find Blackie knocked out, and the store keeper will say he knocked him out. You boys are brilliant. Remind me not to like the whole setup, will you? Got a Bernie going to match? Yeah, yeah, sure, somewhere. And here, let me light your cigarette for you. Draw in. Oh, thanks. Hey, Leach, look, Blackie's out of the ropes. Don't move, Blackie. I got a gun on you. So I see. How'd you get out of those ropes? I'll write your letter and tell you about it. Yeah. Well, what kind of tricks do you know how to get away from guns? I've got one on you, too. Well, that will take some thought, I'm afraid, but it can be done. Better tap him with your blackjack again, Bernie. He talks too much. With pleasure, Lee. Hey, now, wait a minute. I don't mind if... <coughs> hey, he sure passes out pretty, don't he, Leach? Yeah, hit him again in a few minutes, and uh, hit him once more before we dump him in the candy store. I don't want this guy to wake up again until he's in jail. <laughs> Oh, at least I got a hand it to you. Now, the cop sure made a rush call to that candy store when you phoned it and said for us that Blackie was in on a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you see? Inspector Faraday was there himself. 
It's only an hour since Blackie came to call him. <laughs> yeah, how long do you think Faraday will keep Blackie in jail? Well, well, from what I hear, Inspector Faraday would give Blackie a life sentence for breaking his shoe lace. Oh, oh. Yeah, he'll keep him there long enough to suit us. Sam said he'd be up with our nitro this afternoon. Oh, good. Girl, we'll, be, we'll be set to blast into the top of the vault tomorrow night then, huh? Oh, easy. Yeah. And I thought Blackie was going to be trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody at the door, Leach. Want me to go around the other door see who it is? No, no. What are you worrying about? It's Sam with an nitro. I'll let him in. Yeah, well, always on time, Sam. You're a good... Hey, Leach, it's a day. Hello, I'm Mary Wesley. Is Boston Blackie here? No, no, Blackie... Shut up, Bernie. Come in, uh, Miss Wesley. Well, I... What do you want with Blackie? I, um, I just want to talk to him. Hey, Leach, this is the dame Blackie said wasn't his Shut dame. up, Bernie. Sit down, Miss Wesley. Uh, no, no, thank you. I just came to see Blackie. What about him? Oh, I, uh... I... Why are you looking at me like that? I just got an idea, that's all. Maybe you and Blackie haven't busted, like he said. How do you know about that? Because I think maybe the bust-up was phony, and for my benefit... Well, I, I, I don't understand you at all. Sit down, Miss Wesley. No, thanks. Sit down. I'd rather not. I'd sit down. Yes, yes, of course. As long as you insist. That's better. Hey, Leach, you thinking the same about this dame as I am? Shut up. Yeah, sure. Miss Wesley, when did you last see Blackie? Early this morning. Where? He came to my apartment. What for? To tell me that he didn't want to see me again. Before that, when did you last see him? Two weeks ago. Why are you so interested? It's my business. I came here to see Blackie. If he isn't here, I'll go, if you don't mind. But I do mind. Bernie? Yes. Yeah. Tired of the chair. Yeah. Tired of the chair. Don't worry, Lisa. Same for some Blackie. You're hitting my... Don't worry. Hey, that's Gagger, gagger. Yeah. Go. Go. Well, that keeps going. Well, this is perfect. Blackie said we couldn't crack that ball downstairs as long as he was around to stop us, and he was right. But now where's Blackie? <laughs> In jail. And if he gets out of jail, we got his girlfriend. Now what can Blackie do to stop us? Hey, maybe he can talk Faraday into letting him go. Oh, I doubt that. Even if he does and then tries to stop us, we'll do what we told him two weeks ago. We'll deliver his girlfriend to him, uh, slightly dead. <laughs> We're glad to have you with us, Miss Wesley. We're very glad indeed. <laughs> Now, back to Boston Blackie. For some reason, then unknown to Mary, Blackie has told her that their friendship is at an end. Trying to find the answer to Blackie's strange actions, Mary has fallen into the hands of two men planning to rob the Bailey Street Bank and is now being held prisoner in an apartment just above the bank vault. Blackie, at the same time, is being held at police headquarters for a robbery into which the bank thieves have framed him in order to get him out of the way. As we return to our story, it's the next morning, and Shorty, who has heard through the underworld grapevine that Blackie's in jail, comes to see his friend. Hiya, Blackie. Good morning. Shorty, how'd you find out Faraday was holding me? I get his boss, and my friends talk a lot. I'd have been here last night if I'd known sooner. If you've brought me a loaf of bread with a steel file inside it, I'll never speak to you again. No, no, boss, not. Yeah, I'll bring you some bad news, boss. Then go over there to the desk and give it to Faraday. Look, this is real bad news, boss. Two mugs in Bally Street have got Miss West. Mary? Yeah. Well, how did they get hold of her, and why? Oh, I don't know, Black. I guess it's all my fault. Miss Wesley came up to your apartment to talk to you and found the Bally Street address she'd gone to. She went down there to see what you were up to. Shorty, Shorty, you shouldn't have let her do that. Now I'll have to get out of here. You wait around the corner for me. I won't be long. Okay, boss. Hey, Faraday. Uh, Faraday. What do you want, Blanky? You. What's the matter, chum? You lonesome in there? Or do you want me to give you my keys? What keys? These in my coat pocket right here. This may be just a temporary cell in my office, but it's hard to get out of unless you have the keys. Well, why didn't you take me straight to the city jail, Faraday? Do you enjoy having me around? When you're behind bars. Listen, I've got to get out of here, Faraday. What are you going to use for keys? Proof I didn't hold up that candy store. If you were as tall as the story you're about to tell, you'd be a giant. Listen, Faraday, that candy store proprietor said he knocked me out by hitting me on the jaw once. Yeah, and you were still out when I got there. Sure, but where was I hit? On the back of the head. And not once, but several times. And not with a fist, but a blackjack. That's your story. 
What happened was you got socked on the chin, hit your head on the floor. Oh, I see how you account for the bumps on the head. I was a bouncing baby, and so when my head hit the floor in the candy store, I bounced. Very funny, Blackie. Faraday, listen to me, will you? I was framed into being picked up at that candy store, framed by Willie Leach and Bernie Bernard, who want me out of the way so they can rob the Bailey Street Bank sometime tonight. Oh, those bad boys. Okay, okay. You won't do anything for my sake. Do it for Mary's. Leach and Bernard are holding her in Bailey Street right now. What's the matter, Catherine? Are you jealous? All right, Faraday, be a sap if you want to. But for heaven's sake, tuck your handkerchief in your breast pocket. You're no doom. Hey, hey, take your hands away from that handkerchief. Looks all right the way it is. Okay, Flash, okay. And don't be too unhappy in that detention center, Blackie. I'm moving you uptown to the city jail as soon as the wagon has a minute to spare. Thanks, pal. And don't let me hear any more complaints from you about anything, as long as you're in jail. That, Faraday, may not be as long as you think. Thanks for waiting for me, Shorty. Gee, Blackie, you sure got out in a hurry. How'd you do it? I pretended to fix Faraday's handkerchief and lifted the keys out of his pocket and slipped through his office and out the back way. <laughs> Look, I, I guess we better beat out his neighborhood, huh, boss? But being this close to a jail when I don't have to, it makes me nervous. All right, let's go. Boss... Look, I'm, I'm sure sorry I, I let Miss Wesley go see them too much in Bailey Street. Well, you couldn't help it. That young lady has a mind of her own. Well, what are we going to do? Them guys are holding her there, I bet. You're betting on a favorite, Shorty. That's a cinch. Gene, I, I tried to stop her, too. Yeah, well, they're doing just what they said they'd do. Home, Miss Wesley, so you would play hands off while they cracked the Bailey Street bank. What are we going to do, Blackie? What do you think, Shortman? Well... Unless we want him to knock Miss Wesley on her head so hard it's fatal, I, I guess we stay away from him. Huh? I think what we ought to do is to keep after those guys. They might kill Mary because she knows too much, even if we lay off. Oh. Well, then what? I don't know. I'm going down to Bailey Street and see those two. Oh, wait a minute, boss. I, I don't think that's so smart. I don't either. But it so happens that it's necessary. Now, here's what I want you to do. Hello, Leach. Well, the bad penny, Boston Blanket. That door was locked. How'd you get out of jail? How did you get in here? That's two more letters I owe you guys. Let me slug him again, Leach. I don't think that'll be necessary. He uh, got his girl. I'd like to see Mary. Oh, you want proof, do you? We don't kid about anything. Where is she? Open the door to the front room, Bernie. Yeah, sure. Don't worry, Blackie. We haven't heard her. That would spoil our plans for the present. She is tied to a chair, nice and tight. Yeah. Mary, don't worry, honey. I'll get you out of here. Everything's going to be all right. Look, Leach, I'll make a deal with you. Let Mary go, and I'll help you get into the vault. Nah. Leach, you're a fool. You're going to blow the vault with nitro. Nitro makes noise. Oh, it does, really? I'm telling you you're a sap to use nitro when you can use me. Take me to any vault in the world, and I can open it with my fingers. And you know it. Are you suggesting that you want to come in with us? I'm not suggesting anything. Release Mary and I'll open the safe for you. Uh, sit down, uh, Blakey. Now you're getting some sense. I don't do it. Leach is up to some trick. Maybe. Then again, maybe not. Now you're brilliant, Leach. Let Mary go now, will you? I'll stay here until it's time to open the vault. You'll stay here until then. Your girlfriend stays here, too. But that's the condition of our deal. You have to let Mary go. That's the condition I don't like. The girl stays where she is. How long? Until after you've opened the vault. Then you'll let her go? Maybe. Maybe? What's that? That's our guarantee that you'll open the safe for us at 8 o'clock tonight. Hey, hey Leach, what kind of a vault is this, anyhow? It's in two rooms, Bernie, just like the plan said. The safe is in the second room. We're only in the first room now. Come on, Blackie, I don't want this to take all night. It won't leach, don't worry. Get us through that door into the second room and get to work on that safe. I'd better close this outside door first. What for? Oh, just a superstition. I don't like to work with open doors behind me. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, close the door. Let's get going. 
Don't be nervous, Leach. I go through doors that lock the way you go through doors that revolve. Yeah. How, uh, how long is it going to take you to get through the door into the second room where the safe is? No time at all. This is probably just a simple lock. You, uh, won't accidentally trip the burglar alarm, will you? And bring the cops down on my own neck? Faraday still wants me, you know. Yeah, all right. But no tricks. I got a gun up there, any tricks. Now, uh, both of you boys keep quiet while I work on this door. Yeah, that does it. I'm beginning to like you, Blackie. How nice. Well, the door's open. Yeah, you better try it and see. Shut up. If Blackie says it's open, it's open. Thanks, Leach. There you are. Wide open. Now, uh, I want to go the rest of the way alone. Why? Don't let him do it, Leach. It's a trick. Why do you want to be alone, Blackie? Two reasons. First, I'm superstitious about opening safes with somebody looking over my shoulders. Second... I'd rather you didn't know how it was done. Look, Leach, I haven't double-crossed you so far, have I? No. That's a good thing, too. Shut up, Bernie. How can I double-cross you from here on? There are no windows, no doors. You'll be between me and the outside. You both have guns. I haven't. I'd be a dope to try any tricks. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you would. Now, uh, give me five minutes alone to open the safe, and then you can come in and get the money. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. Uh, you're making a mistake, Leach. You let me run this. Blackie can't double-cross us now. How you doing, Blackie? All right. In fact, I'm doing fine. Careful you don't trip that burglar alarm. I'll be careful that I do, Leach. What? Hey, what's the idea? Too bad, Leach. You can't get through that door. It's locked. Let's get out of here, Leach. But I'll try it either of you. Sure, you're waiting outside with a Tommy gun. I'll get you for this, Blackie. There's still a locked door between us. Come on, Bernie. We'll try the outside door. It's probably lying about Shorty. I know how to work this latch. Okay. Hey, get open it. All right, you guys. Stand right where you are. Hey, Shorty ain't here, but the cuts are. Shorty is here. Please, without no uniform. Keep your gun on him, Shorty. Run him. Turn off that alarm. Good thing, Inspector. Hey, Faraday. Is that you? Come on up, Blackie. Okay, Monahan, Rollins. Take these two bums out of here. Right. Okay, Blackie, come on. Hi, Faraday. Hello, Blackie. I don't know what brought you down here, Inspector, but I'm certainly glad something did. You did, Blackie. But I thought you didn't believe me when I said the bank was going to be robbed tonight. I believed you, but I didn't want you to think so. I'm not as dumb as you think. I believed your story as soon as you told me you'd been hit on the head, not on the chin, the way the candy store proprietor said. Faraday, you're getting positively brilliant. You mean you're just waking up to the fact that I'm smarter than you are? Yes, Faraday, but when I wake up, I stop dreaming. Hey, boss. Yes, yeah, Shorty? Can I put down this Tommy gun now, huh? It makes me nervous. Think how nervous it makes me. You're in back of it. <laughs> Will you sit still, Mary? Or do I have to tie you to that chair? Mm-mm. But, um... I'm still nervous about last night. You needn't be. It's all over. You know, I was so scared when I heard you coming up those stairs. I thought it was Leech coming up to kill me. I was, um, more afraid only once in my life. When? When you came to my apartment and told me you never wanted to see me again. Do you understand now why I did that? Mm Mm-mm. Not completely. Well, Leech and Bernard heard that you and I were good friends... They figured the only way to keep me away from them while they robbed the Bailey Street Bank was to hold you. Oh, I see. So I told them you didn't mean a thing to me. To go ahead and do whatever they wanted to, will you? I didn't care. Well, I like that. It worked, honey. Until you came looking for me and they realized I'd lied to them. Did you lie to them, Blackie? About me? What do you think? Well, you could tell me. We're right back where we started. Hmm, goody, and where's that? Good friends. Oh, With our troubles over and no more troubles in sight. Oh, Blackie, if you only hadn't said that. Said what? No more troubles in sight. But there isn't any trouble in sight. I know it, but you'll go looking for it. Any objection? Definitely. But, um, where shall we look? (laughs) 